Hey guys, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, video number 76. How's it going? In the last video, we kind of wrapped up exploring the battle resort here, and uh, in this video, we're just going to go in here to the battle mason. Battle mason? 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 Oh, look, there's Sydney. Look at the way he walks. Yeah, I am here, hence me being here. You can't find Steven? You can't find Steven. Well, I mean, I would assume if we went back to the Elite Four, or back to the Pokemon League, and, like, you know, challenged them all again, that we would, you know, end up fighting Steven again at the end. And we are going to do that, by the way. I'm not sure when, but we are going to do that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and participate in some battles here at the Battle Mason. Um, in the last video, uh, we ran into Looker there at, at that house. Remember, we found him on the beach, and he was, like, kind of out of it. So we go to that house, and we find out, oh, guess what? He has amnesia, and he has no idea who he is. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that here in, here in a minute. Um, no, I don't have any results yet. But I want to kind of get started here first. Um, let me just talk to everyone I can before that. Battle Chatelaine sisters? Really? How do you battle them? They sound tough. Okay, so now I'm going to battle, and what battle format do I want? Um, yeah, we'll just do a uh, um, single battle. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I'm going to use the Pokemon that are in my party. I get to pick three Pokemon, and when I brought up the screen, it showed me that Kyogre is actually banned from being used here at the Battle Mice, and which, which I guess makes sense, so... Uh, yeah, Kyogre is banned, but Latias is not, so I'm gonna uh, pick Latias, Camerupt, and uh, Sceptile for my uh, three teams here. Um, mostly because those three Pokemon have fairly um, diverse move sets, so I think um, I should be able to do pretty well uh, with those three. So anyway, this is the first person we battle. Schoolboy Jibbity sends out Frillish. Let go, Ruby. Frillish is part water type, so Thunderbolt should be pretty good. Uh, he uses a Citrus Berry. Flash will lower my accuracy. But, yeah, Thunderbolt is pretty accurate in the first place, so good stuff. Anyway, yeah. Um, this right here is basically what this video is. I'm... I'm I'm just battling several trainers here at the Pokemon, or at the Battle Mason. So, uh, yeah, not really not much to see. And none of the trainers are really that tough, either. So, that being said, I want to kind of get back to my looker theory. Uh, I kind of talked about it a little bit toward the end of the last video, but the video ended kind of quickly for me. So, I didn't really get to go into full detail. But, uh... In the last video, I asked that's my question of the day, if you had a looker theory as to why he was even in this game. And I got a uh, response from Tsunami Wind, a.k.a. John Tempest. It's good to see you back again. Um, but yeah. Um, he, like me, thinks that they're going to go into a little bit more detail on that in X2, Y2. Um, he says, when I first saw Looker, this is a really long comment, so I'm going to try and paraphrase it as well as I can. Uh, when I first saw Looker, I thought, how the hell did he get over here? Maybe he was, like, on a plane and landed on the island. 
maybe he got hit by that guy he walked away with at the end of X and Y. Remember at the end of X and Y, that guy who was like trying to like blow everything up, who was like a team flare. He was the one who uh, gave Emma that suit, and he was like controlling her. I don't remember what his name was. I want to say it was like Xeroxes or something. I don't know, or like Xerox. Uh, it was it was a strange name, but um, Xerox. Um, but anyway, he's thinking, you know, Looker left with that guy, so maybe the guy, you know, knocked him out and made him lose his memory. Um, but yeah. And that's, that's his theory as to how Looker ended up here on the beach. And that, as far as that theory goes, yeah, I guess that's, that's, you know, pretty good. But that would be banking on the fact that the events of the game happened after the events of Pokemon X and Y, which I guess is possible, but, you know, given that this is a remake of a Gen 3 game, I still, in the Pokemon timeline, put this, you know, happening prior to the events of Diamond Pearl Platinum, which is why I said, like, in the last video that this is really, even though we've, we've known Looker since Pokemon Platinum, and the chronology and timeline of Pokemon events, I believe that this encounter with Looker that we had in this game is the first encounter with Looker as far as like the chronology goes. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit more detail here in this video. I kind of had to paraphrase it myself in the last video because I was running low on time. But, um, as you, well, hold on. Let me just make sure there's nothing else I need to talk about. Okay, no, nothing else. But, as you probably remember, the first time that the character Looker ever showed up in a game was in Pokemon Platinum. And he was kind of there helping us, or maybe we were helping him. But he was kind of there trying to, you know, take out Team Galactic. And uh, we were kind of helping him, or like I said, maybe he was helping us, I don't know. But that was the first Pokemon game that was released that had the character Looker. And he's been in pretty much every game since then, um, in, in sort of a supporting role. He hasn't had a really big role in, in any of the games. Remember in Black and White, we helped him uh, track down the Seven Sages. And then, honestly, I don't remember if he was in Black 2 or White 2. And then in uh, X and Y, you know, we had that that pretty pretty big after game quest with uh, Emma there in Lemio City. And what John uh, or Tsunami Win alluded to is that you know at the end of X and Y, at the end of that whole quest, he left with that guy from from Team Flare. He he left with that guy to we don't know where they went, but they left, like, together. We don't know why they left together, at least I don't know why. Maybe he said why in the game, I don't remember. But, uh, I kind of remember it being kind of mysterious as to why he was leaving. Remember he left the Looker Bureau to us. So anyway, we come back here to Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, right? Which, I believe, in the chronology of Pokemon, takes place prior to... Pokemon Platinum. Alright? So here we see him washed up on the beach. Doesn't know who he is. Doesn't know how he got there. And remember, this area was not... Didn't exist in Ruby and Sapphire. So, you know, he could have been, you know, washed up on the beach and we didn't know in Ruby and Sapphire because we didn't come here. So he's washed up on the beach. Doesn't know who or where he is or who he is. And then in the grand scheme of things, in, in Pokemon Timeline, the next time we see him is in Pokemon Platinum. Which, you know, the way the games are set up kind of makes it sound like Platinum takes place, you know, a couple of years after this. So by the time we get to Platinum, Looker has pretty much created a new identity for himself. Okay, he, he has given himself the name Looker. And, and you know, he says several times that that's his code name. That's not his real name, that's his code name. He's given himself the code name of Looker, and he, I don't know if he joined the International Police or if that's just something he says, 
or if he is the international police, you know, if that if that's the international police is literally just, you know, looker. So, because you know, other than him, we haven't really heard much about the international police. Now, I, I, I read some some theories there on uh, the internet who are saying if you remember in Pokemon Red and Blue. Um, there was a guy on the SSN who said he was a member of like the global police and he was tracking down Team Rocket. A lot of people have said that they think that's Looker. Um, you know, at the, t at the time of those games, he didn't actually have the name Looker, but a lot of people have a theory that that is, was actually Looker. And to be honest, I don't really believe that. I mean, you know, so many of the trainers and people in that games, or in all these games really, said really random stuff. So I think that that was just, you know... A, a character in the game who just, you know, that's just happened to be what he said. I don't think that he has anything to do with Looker or the International Police. But anyway, um, yeah, by the time we get to Pokemon Platinum, L Looker, codename Looker, has kind of created a new identity for himself. Uh, you know, he's a member of the International Police, he's, you know, helping to solve crimes. But I think, you know, while he's doing this, at the same time, he's still trying to figure out who he is and where he came from and, and how he got to, you know, be there on that beach. So, anyway, we see him in Platinum with the whole Team Galactic thing. Then again, we see him in Black and White with the whole, you know, Seven Sages thing. Until finally, he settles down in Lumio City, opens up the Looker Bureau. <clears throat> and... I don't know, maybe... I don't... I need to play X and Y again, and, and pay more attention to whatever that guy's name was, Xerox, or the guy from Team Flare. Not the boss, but the guy who was like his assistant, who was the one who was controlling Emma. But in his talking to this guy, he may have found out or thought that this guy could help him to kind of discover who he is, discover his, his real identity. And that's why I like, you know, Tsunami when, like I said, alluded to earlier, you know, when he, you know, went off with that guy. Now I don't think that guy knocked him out and that's how he ended up here. Because that doesn't really fit the chronology of the games as I see them. But uh, I think that that guy, whatever he he's off doing with him, whatever they find out, that he will discover that, oh, guess what? Um, I think I know how I can get my memory back, or at least I know what happened. And I think when we talk to him in the next games, which I believe more than ever now will be a sequel to X and Y, whether it be X and Y2 or Pokemon Z, which they just set up as a sequel. I believe that we'll see Looker and he will tell the, our character the story of, you know, one day I just remember being, you know, on a beach in Hoenn and that's the first thing I remember of my life and I don't have any memory of anything before that and I, you know, I gave myself the code name of Looker and have you know, kind of been a detective and all the, you know, this time also trying to discover who I am. And I think he's going to say that he's discovered, like, a, a, a big lead that can help him finally figure out who he is. But he needs our help to, uh, to do that. And we will help him do that. And it's all going to accumulate in Looker figuring out who... It's going to be very similar to the Delta episode of this game and the Emma... Uh, event or the Emma episode, if you will, in the last game, and it's going. But I think it's going to be a little bit closer to the Delta episode, where there's like a, like an actual really solid storyline, and it's all going to accumulate in us finding Hoopa, and finding out that Hoopa had something to do with Looker's, you know, disappearance from wherever he used to be, and his memory loss, and his sudden appearance there on the beach in Hoenn, and. We're going to catch Hoopa, or, you know, battle Hoopa, or whatever, similar to, like, what we did with Raquaza here. And, uh, Looker will get his memory back, or something. I don't know. 
But look at this. I have spent the entire video talking about that. So anyway, thanks guys for humoring me. <laughs> leave a like. Leave a comment. Bye.